He's a baby ball! He's so cute, look at him! Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome to Let's Build a Zoo, the long awaited series I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. And I've sort of finally got around to it and got everything all set up. So, as customary for every sort of first episode of a series, we need to answer questions that I think you guys are going to have and just showcase some of the ideas that I have. So first off, you might notice I am in a texture pack. I am using uh, nothing new. I'm using John Smith's Legacy Texture Pack. The reason why I'm using that texture pack over uh, like uh, the vanilla texture pack is because these mobs, some of these mobs, in fact most of the mobs, have a, a sort of very HD... Hi. Very HD sort of texture that um, is like that even if you're in the vanilla texture pack. So to make everything else match the animals, you want the grass and the other blocks nearby to sort of suit that sort of texture. So it's a 32 by 32 bit texture pack and it looks phenomenal. Okay. Number two, this is not on the city world. I was thinking about doing it on the city world. Hey, elephant. I was thinking about doing it on the city world, but the reason why I'm not is two reasons. Number one, we we want to do use this texture pack, okay? Uh, and I don't want to keep convert like like changing the texture pack in the city. Number two, I don't want to be constrained to area. I want to be able to build this zoo as big as we want, as big as we can. And if we do it on the city, we're going to be very limited. And even if we've done it on its own island, we're still going to be limited with space. So it's on its own. And number, th reason number three that it's not on the city is because I didn't want to put all of these animals into the city world and end up messing that up and having elephants everywhere all over the place because it just wouldn't make sense. So... What more what mods do we have installed? Well, I have obviously my world oops my world edit. It's something that I always have because it makes it very easy and very quick to build certain uh, things and changing biomes and changing ground textures and stuff like that. It's just mostly for speeding things up. I've got Ray's minimap, which shouldn't be new to you guys because it's in the top right hand corner like it is in the city. Uh I'm using, I, I can use a shader pack as well. I've got Sue's shader pack, the same shader pack as what we're using on the city. So, oh, and turn clouds off. So there shouldn't really be much, uh, where is clouds now? Clouds. There shouldn't really be much difference between what you guys know on the city world and what you know on this world. I tried to keep it as similar as possible so there's nothing like new and bad to get used to. But the shader pack, the animals look phenomenal in. It's such a great model. We're going to go through the animals at the minute. I've got custom NPCs as well on this world. Just so maybe we can add some workers. I was thinking like wandering around caring for the animals and stuff like that. And the animal mods. Finally, I've got two. I've got Mo creatures. M-O apostrophe creatures. And lots of mobs or lots of mobs. So I've got two different uh, mods installed for animals. Mo creatures, I think, is a sort of, I'm going to say better mod as far as the animals go the models are very very nice and the textures are very very well done but the lots of mobs is like in addition to that it adds uh some other creatures giraffes and stuff like that that weren't in the mo creatures mod now i'm running this on minecraft 1.7.10 so i've got all my acacia stuff the reason why i'm running it in in 1.7 is because most mods that were ever made work with 1.7 uh there some of these mods do work with 1.9 and 1.10 um but I find it much more comfortable with World Edit and everything else sort of combined using stuff that I really, really 100% understand. And using 1.9, we don't get anything extra from it that we would want from a zoo anyway. There's no advantage to having a more updated version. So, let's go through the animals then. Obviously, you've seen the elephant here. And I've, we've got all the normal default mobs. Um, the re reason why we're doing it on PC, I think, is obvious though. Um... Because I know some of you like like Xbox series. But the reason why we're doing it on, on PC is because unless you want to have a farm uh, or a, a, a zoo made up of ghasts and cows and sheep, you're going to need to have some mods. So, we've got, I think this is a, a modded bunny. I'm just going to go through them. You can have a look at the names as I go, but I'm going to place them all down. So, we've got Bunny Rabbit. We've got Snake. Absolutely crazy model and you get some different sizes. Look. And different shapes, different colours. Very, very cool. Look at that. Oh, he looks like he's going to attack me. This is going to get... As a word of warning, this is going to get loud. Okay, as we place more and more animals down. Turtles. 
Now, these are hilarious because I, I spawned these in when I was testing out the mod. They do walk about, and I think if you get near them, they'll go in their shell. But if you give them a little punch. Punch? 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 He's on his back! <laughs> and he, he's stuck. He's stuck on his back. He can't get anywhere. <laughs> Eventually, he will rock back over and get back on his feet again. Oh, 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 he nearly made it. And he sort, he sort of tries for a little bit. It's hilarious. Oh, he nearly made it. Oh, oh, no. Come on, turtle. Make it. He done it. He done it. He's back on his feet. And then you can punch him again. And he'll get back on his back again. <laughs> what else we got? We've got birds. We've got some different colors and stuff. These do fly as well. Uh, they're, not, they're not just stuck on the ground. They do actually uh, end up taking flight. Oh, I have seen them take flight. Oh, I saw one of the mobs take flight, at least. So, obviously, so far, uh, snakes, we're going to want, like, a reptile area with the birds. We're going to want to have, like, giant aviaries. We've got a uh, mouse. Not really going to do much with that, I don't think. Turkeys. Really fantastic model to the turkeys. Uh, these wild horses... Uh, oh, zebra. Little one. I don't know what that is. The zebra's cool, though. I didn't see the zebra. But yeah, wild horses. Let's move away a little bit so we don't have to put up with that for the whole thing. Oh, these are naturally spawned. They're naturally spawning as well. I did not know they naturally spawned. I might have to turn that off. We don't want random mobs spawning in other pens, do we? I'll turn that off. Uh, we've got... These ones are like the weird horses. There's even a winged one, zombie one. Yeah, and a winged one. Obviously, we're not going to be using that in the zoo. I want to keep this sort of realistic, as well as the ogre we're not going to be using. So, let's go to the next line. There's a lot of them. This, this episode is going to be entirely looking through mobs, okay? We've got boars. It's a baby boar. He's so cute. Look at him. Okay, we've got bears. There's a baby bear. There's black and brown ones. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's on his. Look at that. He's so cute. So yeah, black and brown bears, grizzly bears, and stuff like that. Very, very cool. I like the panda. We'll have to get some uh, bamboo and stuff for in there. There's a lot to go through this episode. Ducks. Big cats. We've got, um, looks like a female lion. And a male lion with the mane. I think that might be it for that. Yeah, I didn't know if there was going to be leopards or anything in there as well. Deers. Oh, there's a male one. We've got the antlers. It's so loud, though. Luckily, this is just a world that will be spawning the mobs on the next episode i shall start up a new uh, custom super flat this is going to be a custom super flat we'll terraform how we want but i want it nice and flat so it makes it easier for us to, to build a load of pens and stuff wild wolf they're huge very nice model though on them wraith we're not worried about flame wraith we're not worried about and foxes i think they're all the same oh they're like fenix oh oh look at that hostile Okay, next next row, next row, next row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got werewolf. Oh, yeah, that's not one that we'll be using. We've got sharks. These do swim in the water as well. Obviously, there's no water nearby, but if this was water, he would actually be swimming about. It's really, really awesome. Same as the dolphin. And they come in different sizes as well. As you can see, it's like three different sizes. Slightly varying colours. I think the shark does as well. Yeah, they come in different sizes. It's nice to have the variety. So when we put them in the pen... That's such an awful noise. When we put them in the pen, they won't all look the same. They'll have slightly different colours and stuff like that. Very, very cool. Fishies. Now, obviously, as soon as we place them on the floor, they will start flapping as if they were out of water. But in the water, they do actually swim through the water like a squid and a jellyfish, and, or, you know, like a normal mob would. So very, very cool there. Kitties. Well, not really zoo animal. Rats. They're huge rats. They are absolutely the biggest rats that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, hell rat. Scorpions. These are huge as well. And you can even spawn one, yeah, with babies scrawling on the back. Isn't that disgusting? They're huge. They're like Fallout 4 type scorpions. You know, Fallout rad scorpions. But we'll still have them in the zoo. And crocodiles as well. Very nice model there. 
I'm so, I am so excited. I'm sure you can tell in my voice how excited I am for this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got rays for in the water. They say varying sizes and stuff. Jellyfish, different colors, different sizes. And they do all swim. I should really set up some water, but it doesn't... You, you know how a fish swims, don't you? You know how a fish swims. Goat. <laughs> Male goats and female goats. Oh, wow. Are they even, like, different... Ra they are. I think the horns are, like, a different roundness. Oh, no, they might be the same. Oh, they all jump then. We've got ostriches. Oh, it's a little baby. I've never seen that before. Yeah, ostriches. We've got bees. I wonder, I wonder if they'd sting me in survival. They might do. They might do. Flies. I don't know if we're going to have a pen of flies. Who knows? Uh, what are these? Dragonflies. Very cool mob. Very cool looking thing. Oh, that sound. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's like a really low end boom. Fireflies. A 10 million fireflies. Do do, cause I hate goodbyes. Do 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 do, and I fell asleep. Crickets. Cause they fill the o open air. I don't know the words. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> they tear drops everywhere. Okay, we've got. Go away. They're so loud. <laughs> We're gonna have to place these pins far apart so we don't have this noise going on when we're building. We've got snails. Snails and slugs. They come in all sorts of different shapes and, uh, and colors. Look, and they go in and out of their shells. Whoop, when you go near them, they go... Whoop. 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 <laughs> that's fantastic. That's so fantastic. Butterflies. These are... Oh, that's a big moth. Uh, but these are beautiful. Look. Oh, yeah. Moth, moth. Butterflies here. Really, really nice textures on those tortoiseshell butterflies. That's the only one I know. Tortoiseshell. Uh, golem, though. Elephant, you've seen. But we do have baby ones. Baby ones as well. Komodo dragons. Ooh, I've walked back right into the snakes. Sna I'm so scared of snakes. A wyvern is a dragon. Obviously, it's very cool. And they come in different colours. But we're not going to be having... A dragon pen. We might have a dragon pen. There might be like a little Easter egg dragon pen. Uh, um, cockroach. Yeah. Horrible looking things. Maggots. I don't know why you'd have a maggot, but there's a maggot there. And crabs. We've got blue ones as well, I think. Yeah, blue ones as well. There is another crab as well in the other mod. We're, we're still only on the first mod at the moment. So we've got the last set of these ones. We've got raccoons. They are cute. And it suits, don't you think it suits the texture pack so well? It really, really does. Look at all the blocks that we've got. And then look at sort of the mobs. They match the textures brilliantly with this. Really, really nice. We've got, uh, nope, nope, ants. I think the other ants on the other mods are actually better than these ones. They're smaller. Medium-sized fish like trout and pike, I expect. And I don't really know my fish. But they'll be good in an aquarium. Sea life center part. Tiny little fish as well. These are really cool. Oh, that's like the... Um, what was it called? The fish with the, the dangly... Angel fish? Angel fish, I think it's called. Oh, yeah, and they all have their own drops as well. Like, you'll you actually get, like... like Oh, that's just more fish. They do. Some of them actually have their own... Um, their own drops. Piranhas. I suppose in the water. If you went in the, in the water with those about, they'd start attacking you straight away. Very cool. Uh, Ent, that's a giant tree thing. That's nothing to do with the zoo. A mole. Now, the mole just goes down, but you can get him by punching the grass block, and he'll sort of go back underneath again. Very, very cool. And he will move as well. When you see the shadow like that, um, the shadow will actually move, and you'll know where... Like, there he is. And he dug up. And he's, there you go. He's like the dolphin of the land. <laughs> Okay, so on to the next one. We've got more here. Lots of lots of mobs. Eggs. Now, some of these are going to be uh, the same uh, type of animal, but they're going to look different. They're going to have sort of different models. So we've got deers. You saw the deers that we had in the last one. As I say, most of the mobs, I prefer 
out of the mo creatures i think the models and the textures are better but there are some mobs in this one that we don't have in the other one and there are some that i prefer uh the models and textures of in this mod so it's nice to have them both together the boar again i like the other one better birds these are very basic looking birds but they are it will be nice to have a range of different types of birds squirrels great model fantastic model i love it and we get red and gray squirrels bunny rabbits i think i like actually prefer <laughs> i actually prefer these bunny rabbits against the other ones uh these ones are better lizards very very cute they're like little mini crocodiles but we definitely want a reptile area for that giraffes Boom, we didn't have this in Mo Creatures. And you know what? It's a very, very nice model. Very, very nice texture. Nice height, nice size. And they do come in different sizes as well. I think we can get baby ones. Or maybe if we breed them, we'll get baby ones. I can't remember. Uh, elephants. I like the other elephant better. Fishies. Always nice to have different fishy types. We've got more. Oops, more here. We've got... <laughs> Move away! Move away! We've got elef um, uh, not elephants, whales! Very big, big whale here, and they do, I think these come in different sizes as well. Something's, oh, it's a moth just fell from the sky. It's got big old whales. Winter deer. I don't really see, oh. Winter deer. I don't really see the difference between the normal deer and the winter deer, to be honest. But there you go. Bears! Again, I like the other ones better. Gorillas! That's so cool. So we've got gorillas. Camels. Very nice model. Very nice texture. I'm very impressed with that one. Snakes. I actually like the other snakes better, but it is cool. These are sort of smaller ones. Uh, butterflies. They're pretty cool as well to have some different colored butterflies. Uh, ants. See, I like these ants better because they're actually smaller. And they look ever so creepy and crawly. And you can, like, spawn multiples in one zone. <laughs> Makes your skin crawl, doesn't it? And turtles. It's a very cute turtle. It's not as sort of high quality as the other one. But I do like it. I do think it's cool. Okay, next row. All the way down here. We've got ourselves geckos. Very nice geckos. Very nice texture on those. Crocodiles. I like the other crocodiles better, but they are... Pretty cool looking. Lions. I actually like that texture. I like that model. The mane, I actually like better than the mane that is on the other line that we saw. And I think... Nope. I don't know if you could get female ones out of it. A dragon flying through the sky there, whatever it's meant to be called. Uh, these are these poisonous frogs. I've actually got poison at the moment. Look. Poison from being near it. Um, very, very cool though. If you're in survival, they would be dangerous to have nearby, wouldn't they? But yeah, very cool. That's like the, the toad that, or the frog toad, whatever, that Homer licks on the Simpsons one time. We've got uh, normal frogs. Very nice. Flies. I think I like the other flies better. Fireflies. I think I like the other fireflies better. Bullfrog. Fantastic model. Fantastic texture. Great sound as well. And bees. I like the other bees better, even though these bees are probably a better scale for ours. Uh, the Easter Bunny, I don't think we really need to look at, but... Oh, I might as well spawn it in anyway. We've also got Santa in here, but I won't be doing that. Easter Bunny. I think you can actually take eggs to it, and it'll give you, like, iron and stuff. Narwhal! Narwhal, Narwhal. There is a song about Narwhal. Penguins! Now, I don't know why the penguins' arms are, are facing outwards. Maybe the penguins are t trying to fly. Who knows? But I can, I, I can already see... Damn, they're loud. I can already see the enclosure for the penguins with the snow and like some water and like a little slide it's going to be really really cool ice bear aka a polar bear i think it's meant to be called but ice bear works fine for me we'll call it an ice bear if it wants to be called an ice bear um vultures very nice not the greatest model but it does work and it does fly it will be good for a bird of prey area in the zoo i bet you guys are already full of ideas we don't need to spawn in santa cockroaches like the other one Worms. Now, I don't really understand these because they just seem to do that when I spawn them in from the testing. And, like, if you dig down... Oh, I hit him. If you dig down, you will just barely see him. But they just sort of dig down all the time. I don't really know. Hermit crab. Very, very, very cool one for a sandy enclosure. I really, really like that model and texture on there. Do, 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 do. 
We've got goats. Very nice. In fact, I might like these goats better than the other goats. They look sort of more goatish, better size. Uh, oh, yeah, there's dinosaurs. We don't need to spawn the dinosaurs. Brontosaurus, T Rex, uh, Pterodact. Oh, no, what's that? Pterosaurus? Something like that. Ichiosaurus. He's always got an itch on his back. We've got raptors, uh, chickens, or little baby chicks. It's got the chicken sound, which I'm not a huge fan of, and mammoth. They're sort of the dinosaur side of things. Obviously, we're not really that interested in that. saber tooth tiger I'm not interested in. Um, but these ones I will be. We've got um, a musk ox. I don't know if this exact ox, ox is still alive. I know there are oxes, um, but I, I, I don't know. We don't have them in the UK. But very cool for, like, a cold area. Gazelle. Very, very cool mob for a zoo. Uh, Going to be perfect. I can see uh, a savannah, acacia-like trees in this pen for that. Hammerhead shark. Very, very cool model. Absolutely love it. Uh, another type of shark. We had sort of the blue one from the mo creatures. And in the lots of mobs mob uh, mod, uh, it's sort of like a great white shark sort of thing more, more than anything. Crabs. Just like the uh, other ones, but they're slightly smaller. I like them. Mole. It's sort of an odd mod mob, this one is. He actually stays in his mound. It's very strange. Like, he'll actually move and stay in it. Look. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. But I don't know how great it really is. That he's he's gone for it. He's just running. Okay, I'll see you later. Bison. Cool. I like. I've never seen one at a zoo before. I've never seen a bison at a zoo. At least not in the UK. Uh, Amatites. I think these things are actually like long uh, extinct, but they're cool. We will have them. Oh yeah, and the mammoth we've already seen. And then last two, we've got big fishy, which are cool. Got some different colours for those and seahorses. Very nice. So, they're all the mobs that we can have. As you saw, I don't know how many that is. That must be... What's this? Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, we've got, like, 9, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's uh, 54 mobs. And then, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 54 and 54 is like 108. So we've got over 100 mobs. Some of them might be not used um, as their duplicates. So let's say 80. We've got 80 different animals for pens. I don't know if in real life that there's that many different animals in a zoo. Like 80 different ones. That's a lot of different animals. Uh, but before we finish off this episode, I do want to just go through some of the um, things that I've already done. I've changed some paintings, nothing really that important or that interesting in all honesty. You've already seen the logo. I made the logo for uh, the series and I put it into a painting because it's a 32 by 32 bit texture pack. It actually allows for quite high detailed paintings. So I made this in Photoshop. What do you think? That was a circle and then I just put a color on the circle and then uh, got, some ele got an elephant off uh, Google but covered it in black so it, it had like like that is actually a photo of an elephant a giraffe and a zebra but like i took away the color and just made it black the same with the tree and the birds and i think it looks like a really cool looking zoo logo i googled zoo logos to sort of get some inspiration on how they sort of looked in different types and i sort of melded together like a bunch of different ones and and come up with our logo very very nice but there are some other things that i've done i've got so there's some blank ones, obviously, that I haven't quite set up properly yet. But I've got... Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Please do not feed the animals. They may bite. That would be cool to have in front of um, in front of the pens and stuff like that. A first aid one I've got as well for, like, first aid units areas. And then there is one as well. Toilets. There we go. Bang. So I've got three other signs. So we can put toilet signs around the place. If you've got any other ideas for signs and stuff, then let me know in the comment section below and I'll slowly get around and sort of change up uh, a lot of the other paintings because we don't need things like swords. So, well, these blank ones are definitely need, definitely won't be changed, but we don't need swords and we don't need uh, other stuff like that. There's like grates and flags. We don't need any of those. We can completely customize the entire pack of paintings. And I will be changing some of these um, block textures as well. It does mean 
that I will not be able to release a texture pack for this world because I have taken John Smith's texture pack and I am modifying it. Now, I can modify it myself. There's nothing wrong with modifying any texture pack that you want for yourself, but you can't then redistribute it. So I cannot put this texture pack up for download for you guys to download. I'm just not allowed. It's copyright. It's illegal. Uh, and I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to upset anybody. So if you want to, then it's the John Smith's. Um, texture pack if you want to make it yourself uh, just download the John Smith texture pack and then just change the paintings and make them look similar to mine if you wanted to sort of build along with me I can however do world download but in order for the world download to work on your console with all these animals you are going to have to have um, mo creatures and lots of mobs obviously if you want to have the mini map like I have here you're going to want to have um, Ray's mini map world edit I also have the shader texture pack and custom NPCs just to really make it a little bit better if anything um, like improve improve the entire look of it but in the shaders it looks so or so almost realistic I mean look at those elephants imagine those in a pen all your ideas stick them in the comment section below I'll be going through them if you guys enjoyed looking through all of these animals that we will be making a zoo out of then hit that like button I really really do appreciate it uh, the only thing that's missing is actually a rhino so maybe I'll have to find a rhino mob. Rhino and hippopotamus. That's the only two that I can really think of um, that we don't have here. But I'm not really that bothered. We've got plenty of mobs here to be able to play around with. Uh, put down your, your suggestions for like enclosures in the comment section. I'm so going to look forward to everything that you guys have to say. Because I know that you are going to have a lot to say about this series. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. You guys have just suggested it for a long time. It is finally happening. This is going to be like the new theme park series. This is going to literally be the same as the theme park series. But just with, that, just with a zoo instead. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Hit that like button. If you haven't already, then subscribe to keep up to date. Because I know you're going to want to. And we shall see you in the next episode.